you observe this question number 9 what they are asking what is maximum value of the function sin x plus cos x to find maximum values or minimum values of a given function we will use either first derivative test or second derivative test in this exercise most of the problems can be done very easily with the help of second derivative test so to find maximum value of this function i'll use second derivative test as it is ninth problem, by this time I hope you got clear idea on what is second derivative test. First thing, which function value, which function maximum values you want to find, you take that function as f of x. Okay, so what is f of x? f of x is sin x plus cos x. Okay, now we'll differentiate this. Differentiate this f dash of x. Okay derivative of sin x what is derivative of sin x derivative of sin x is cos x plus derivative of cos x is minus sin x so plus of minus is minus derivative of cos x is minus sin x now we need to find the critical points how you will find the critical points we'll equate f dash of x to 0 to get x values you already know this is the ninth problem many times we use it second derivative test which function maximum values you want to find you take that function as f of x you calculate f dash of x after calculating f dash of x you equate it to 0 to get the critical points okay i'll write here if f dash of x equal to 0 that means cos x minus sin x equal to 0 now i need to find x values which satisfies this trigonometric equation what i'll do i'll take this sin x to the right hand side then what you will get cos x equal to sin x you divide this equation both sides with cos x then you will get that tan x equal to 1 right cos x by cos x is 1 sin x by cos x is tan x now you need to find the x values which satisfies this trigonometric equation there are many x values we will get infinitely many x values satisfying this equation so here uh, tan x equal to 1 means it is one easiest thing is pi by 4 in first quadrant tan x is positive next you will get a x value in third quadrant tan 225 degrees tan 5 tan 5 pi by 4 value is also one like that infinitely many solutions you will get uh, in this question they not mentioned uh, on particularly any interval okay so what i'll do after uh, what happened first uh, i take a given function as f of x next i calculated f dash of x next i equated it to zero and i got the critical points now we'll calculate f double dash of x how you will get f double dash of x you will differentiate f for f dash of x you will get f double dash of x okay differentiate derivative of cos x is what derivative of cos x is minus sin x minus derivative of sin x is what derivative of sin x is cos x okay after calculating f double dash of x you need to calculate f double dash of pi by 4 f double dash of 5 pi by 4 like that here one important point you observe they are asking maximum value they are asking maximum value where the function is maximum at that point f double dash of a as they are asking maximum value f double dash of a is less than zero listen carefully you already know second derivative test i believe that based on that i am explaining this if f double dash of a is less than zero then we say that f of x is maximum at x equal to a here they are asking maximum value na? now what you need to calculate you need to calculate f double dash of pi by 4 next you need to calculate f double dash of 5 pi by 4 like that infinitely many solutions you will get here f double dash of some other thing here the point is see they as they are asking maximum value f double dash of a i'll just suppose here f double dash of pi by 4 only f double dash of something here you take minus common if you take minus common what you will get it will become sin x plus cos x listen if sin x is positive cos x is positive if sin x is positive cos x is also positive in that case f double dash of whatever you will get that is negative right so here it can be understood that sin x cos x both are positive in which quadrant 
sin x cos x both are positive in first quadrant only so here what i'll take i can take a f double dash of pi by 4 here see critical points are there now as they are asking maximum values no need to write all these things simply pi by 4 is enough i hope you got this thing right as they are asking maximum value we need to find x values for which f double dash of x is less than 0 if i take uh, if I take pi by 4, pi by 4 lies in first quadrant. In first quadrant, sin x is positive, cos x is positive. As these two are positive, here negative expression is there. Na? Negative into positive is negative. So, f double dash of pi by 4 clearly negative. Here no need to find uh, calculate this 1 by root 2 plus 1 by root 2. No need of all those things. Here, f double dash of pi by 4 is clearly less than 0. Or else, if you want, you can write minus... Uh, sin pi by 4 value 1 by root 2 cos pi by 4 value 1 by root 2 so this is minus 2 by root 2 clearly this is negative as it is negative what we can say we can say that f of x is maximum f of x is maximum at x equal to pi by 4 what they are asking in the question maximum value they are asking okay what is maximum value maximum at x equal to pi by 4 and the maximum value maximum value maximum value is f of pi by 4 what is f of x f of x is sin x plus cos x f of pi by 4 is what f of pi by 4 is sin pi by 4 plus cos pi by 4 sin pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 cos pi by 4 is also 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 plus 1 by root 2 is 2 by root 2 you can stop this here or else you can do little bit of simplification Okay, so maximum value of given function is root 2. I hope you understand this solution. Now, we'll move to next question. You observe this, what they're asking, find the maximum value of this function. Find the maximum value of this function in this interval. In this interval, closed interval 1, 2, 3. Find the maximum value of the same function in this interval also. Okay, first we will do this part. Find the maximum value of this function, given function, in closed interval 1, 3. Okay, first point. Which function maximum values, minimum values you want to find? You take that function as f of x. This one. You take this as f of x. What is f of x? 2x cube minus 24x plus 107. Okay, you take that function as f of x. In step 1, we will calculate f dash of x. Okay calculate f dash of x derivative of 2x cube is what 2 into derivative of x cube is 3x square minus derivative of 24x that is 24 into derivative of x is 1 so 24 plus derivative of 107 is 0 so what is f dash of x from this f dash of x is uh, 6x square minus 24 so after calculating f dash of x in step 2 we will find the critical points how to find the critical points we will equate f dash of x to 0 and we will find the x values okay so we will write here if f dash of x equal to 0 that means 6 x square minus 24 equal to 0 from this what you will get 6 x square equal to 24 x square equal to what x square equal to 4 from this you will get x equal to plus r minus 2 you observe uh, that means we got two x values two critical points x equal to 2 x equal to minus 2 if you observe this question they are asking find the maximum value of this function in this interval closed interval see we already done this type of problems when the function is defined on closed interval a comma b at that time we don't use second derivative test when the function is defined on closed interval 1 comma 3 at that time we don't use second derivative test in this up to critical points we will use right up to critical points we will use right okay now you see uh, here closed interval 1 comma 3 is there na? minus 2 is not in that interval so what i'll do i'll calculate f of 1 see f of 1 this is not the first problem related to closed interval in earlier problems we discussed more clearly f of 1 next f of 3 okay f of 1 we need to calculate next f of 3 next f of 
2 no need of this f of minus 2 because minus 2 is not in this interval i am doing this problem up to here only okay now what we will do we will uh, calculate these values f of x is what this is f of x now so here f of x is 2x cube uh, minus 24x plus 107 right now you calculate f of 1 f of 1 2 into 1 cube that is 1 minus 24 into 1 plus 107 simplify this if you simplify this you will get uh, you will get 85 okay you will get 85 now f of 3 how to calculate f of 3 this is f of x na? in place of x you write 3 what you will get 2 into 3 cube 3 cube is 27 minus 24 into 3 plus 107 you simplify these things if you simplify these things what you will get you will get 89 you will get 89 okay now f of 2 how to get f of 2 in this in place of x you write 2 2 into 2 cube is 8 minus 24 2 sir 48 plus 107 if you simplify this you will get 75 you observe in this uh, 85 is the maximum value right and minimum value what they are asking in the question maximum value you see they are asking find the maximum value of this function in this interval where it is maximum it is maximum at x equal to 3 you write f of x is maximum f of x is maximum at x equal to 3 and maximum value and the maximum value what is the maximum value maximum value is 89 right i hope you understand so we done this problem up to here only up to here the, uh, this part is over now further what they are asking find the maximum value of the same function in closed interval minus 3 comma minus 1 so uh, as usual first what we'll do i'll uh, better i'll do like this this is first beta uh, and whatever this part is there one minute whatever this part is there i'll take it as a second a second one okay so second bit okay second bit function is as usual this this is this is on closed interval one comma three okay we need to find maximum minimum value of this function in closed interval minus 3 comma minus 1 in closed interval minus 3 comma minus 1 okay uh, we need to find maximum values of this function as we need we are finding maximum values of a function in a closed interval we won't use second derivative test see we will calculate f dash of x we will calculate f dash of x we will equate it to 0 and we will get x values same like this how you got here see i'll keep these things here what we'll do first we'll calculate f dash of x okay f dash of x i equated it to zero i'll get the critical points what are the critical points i got i got x equal to 2 x equal to minus 2 now what are the things to be calculated i'll calculate in this interval in this interval minus 3 to 1 they are asking in this interval 2 is not there you can observe here we got the critical points x equal to 2 now but this 2 is not in this interval so what are the things we need to calculate we need to calculate f of minus 3 f of minus 2 see in between minus 3 to 1 if you take the number line minus 3 minus 2 minus 1 0 1 will be there this minus 2 is there right f of minus 2 and f of f of minus 2 what is this minus 3 to 1 1 f of 1 in last problem also in earlier class also we discussed how to find the maximum values of a function when the function is defined on closed interval okay so i need to calculate these things f of minus 3 what is f of x this is f of x now see this is f of x in place of x you write minus 3 then what you will get 2 into minus 3 whole cube that is minus 27 minus 24 into minus 3 plus 107 you simplify this part if you simplify this part what you will get you will get 125 okay 
now f of minus 2 in this in place of x you write minus 2 2 into minus 2 whole cube is minus a 24 into minus 2 plus 107 f of minus 2 if you calculate you will get a 139 okay now f of 1 in this in place of x you write 1 what you will get 2 into 1 cube minus 24 into 1 plus 107 f of 1 if you simplify this you will get 129 in the question what they are asking in the question they are asking find the maximum value look here find the maximum value of this function in this interval okay so what are the maximum values after calculating these three things where is the maximum value at this point you got the maximum value so what we say f of x is maximum f of x is maximum f of x is maximum at x equal to minus 2 what is the maximum value the maximum value is uh, what is the maximum value 139 i hope you are understanding now we will move to the next question you observe this it is given that at x equal to 1 it is given that at x equal to 1 uh, this this function it is given that at x equal to 1 this function attains maximum value that means x equal to 1 is the critical point of this okay uh, in this interval find the value of a let's see what will happen uh, first thing whatever the function they given I will take it as f of x what function they given x power 4 minus 62 x square plus ax plus 9 given function i taken it as f of x as they are saying this function attains a, a maximum value something graph will be like this at one suppose this is one it attains maximum value if we draw the tangent at this point if we draw the tangent at this point this tangent is parallel to x-axis if the tangent is parallel to x-axis slope of the tangent is zero that means at x equal to one f dash of x is zero so what I will do first you calculate f dash of x f dash of derivative of x cube is what derivative of x power 4 is what derivative of x power 4 is 4 x cube minus derivative of 62 into x square derivative of x square is what derivative of x square is 2 x 62 into 2 x that is 124 x plus derivative of a x is what derivative of ax is a plus derivative of 9 derivative of constant is 0 now what we need to find we need to find the value of a to find the value of a what information they given they given function attains maximum value that means x equal to 1 is the critical point at that point f dash of x is 0 so given what they given given that f dash of 1 equal to 0 directly they not mentioned but they are saying at x equal to 1 f of x attains maximum value na? so obviously at x equal to 1 uh, x e f dash of 1 will be 0 now in this function or wherever x is there there you write 1 so what you will get 4 into 1 cube minus 124 into 1 plus a equal to 0 4 minus 124 is what minus 120 plus a equal to 0 what is a a equal to 120 in this question they are asking to find the value of a we got the value of a is 120 i hope you understand these solutions